Hey, hey, Skywalkers! Welcome back to Today, Today in, in Star Wars, Wars History. History! Your daily Star Wars history lesson! On this day, October 6th in 1962, we want to wish a big happy 59th birthday to visual effects artist John Knoll. John Knoll was the ILM visual effects supervisor for the Star Wars prequels, The Mandalorian, and Rogue One. For which he also has a story by credit. He walked into Kathleen Kennedy's office and said, I got an idea for a film. Yep. <laughs> it's right there in Star Wars A New Hope. <laughs> Where did these plans come from? It was written 40 years ago. <laughs> Now, John Knoll also has a cameo appearance in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. He's a fighter pilot. Yeah, he's the one who gets shot down as the Naboo Starfighter pilot. And he said, well, if I'm going to be shot down, I really want my death to be in Star Wars continuity. Oh. Which means when, when in Star Wars, when you see an X-Wing getting shot down, you'll see the explosion from the inside. You'll, you'll cut to the pilot, and you'll see the explosion as it happens all around him. This way you get to really see the pilot and really feel for the pilot as he's about to be destroyed. That's terrible. After working with him on Pacific Rim, Guillermo del Toro paid him a great compliment. He said, he basically has the heart of a kid and the mind of a scientist. Wow. That's a great combination. That really is. Now, before John Knoll was a visual effects supervisor, in 1987, he co-created Adobe Photoshop and went on to win the Scientific and Engineering Award at the 2019 Scientific and Technical Awards with his brother Thomas and Mark Hamburg. You know, we grew up in a household uh, where mom and dad uh, set a, a tone that encouraged uh, engineering, uh, scientific inquiry, and uh, and artistic expression, and that that uh, that was really important to us, and kind of resulted in what you see here. So, thank you so much. Have you ever heard of this Photoshop? Did that ever last? Did that, it does. Did that ever go anywhere? It does, and I use it every single day. So I want to give a special thank you to John Knoll, and I I do have to say, it's much better than Microsoft Paint. <laughs> He'll be happy to hear that. <laughs> Now, John Knoll's visual effects work can be seen in lots and lo dozens and dozens of film, including Willow in 1988, Avatar in 2009, and most recently, Jungle Cruise in 2021. Well, Skywalkers, what is your favorite John Knoll film? Is it Rogue One? Is it Willow? Is it Jungle Cruise? Did you ever meet him? Because he was at Star Wars Weekends as well. Yeah, well he's been to celebrations. He's been, a, he's been at a lot of places. Mm -hmm. I've been to different talks around Hollywood when they would show the, his films and he would talk about the making of these films. Oh, cool. Well, we want to know. So put your comments below. We want to know anything about John Knoll. And give him a happy birthday shout out too. So we hope you're loving these daily doses of Star Wars history. If you are, you know what to do. Smash! that like button and then smash that subscribe button turn notifications on and share with a friend so that is what happened today, today in star wars, wars history. history join us tomorrow when we find out what happened on october the 7th are you doing anything this weekend skywalkers well check out skywalkingforce.com our patreon because your support will unlock a ton of bonus content that you can just binge all weekend so check it out at skywalkingforce.com. May the rest of your day be filled with Wookiee hugs and pixie dust. <laughs>